Recording this before bed, laying on the couch right now, is that I'd come and talk about a topic or two that maybe you guys would find interesting. The first thing is, does buying a business require you to be intelligent? I would say no. It does not require that. It requires experience. And it requires the ability to manage people and understand how people react to different scenarios. Ideally, you would have been in many different managerial roles. Maybe growing up, you had your own little businesses that you ran. But you need to understand all aspects of business. You don't just need to understand marketing or sales or operations or finance or accounting, the technical side of the business. You need to understand the overarching facts of business, which the highest being finance. Is there enough to pay for the loan every month? Is there enough to pay for things when they break? Because they will break. How is cash flow? Are two or three months really heavy cash flow and the rest of them super light? So you have to budget accordingly. Do some months have negative cash flow? How do you deal with that? At the same time, you also have to remember that there's people involved. And that's a variable that you can't completely control. So you have to be okay with that. This is probably the scariest and trickiest part of having a business is not being able to predict the pre people part of it. People aren't going to necessarily like you. People like you for two reasons, right? They want to be like you or they think that they're like you, right? So if I see somebody and he's wearing the same thing I'm wearing or she's wearing the same thing that you're wearing, you're going to probably like her. And, and you know, all the mannerisms are the same, they talk the same, they have the same interests. Like it's pretty easy to like that person. Or you see a guy like, Grant Cardone or Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, people that you want to be like. And maybe you see some aspects of yourself in them, but you're not them, obviously. And that's the two reasons that people like somebody. You generally won't like somebody who's the opposite of you. And this is why mirroring works so well. So if you just mirror somebody, if they do something, you do that same thing, whether that's a hand gesture or cross your legs when they're crossing your legs, lean on something when you're leaning on something say the same type of words, slow down your rate of speaking if they talk slow, speed it up if they talk fast, talk louder if they're talking loud, talk quieter if, you're ta if, you know, if they're a quieter talker. Things like that will make people like you. But ultimately when it comes to change and the fact that you're the catalyst for that change, generally they're not going to like you very much. They're not even going to know why they don't like you. They just don't. You're the guy that's, you're the guy or girl that's presenting the change to them and they're just going to see you as some person that introduces change so it's not a great association so this is definitely the trickiest part and similar to walking on eggshells it's just one of those things that is more than likely more of an art than it is a science but definitely a requirement hope that helps you guys i don't know if you get value out of that if you do, just you know, like the video so I know, or subscribe, or comment, or send me a message. I like to know what you think are the, the trickiest topics that you're curious about. This would be the easiest for me to kind of tailor what I'm making. Have a great night. Talk to you guys later.